everybody. Hi, YouTube. This is What's the Elden up? Man here. The and the flow of time man. sure is convoluted, isn't it? We are amidst strange beings in a strange land. Hard to believe it's already been two years since Elden Ring oh, came music. out. And in my opinion, it was nothing short of a masterpiece. Anybody oh, yeah. who didn't like 100%. Elden Ring had their gamer card officially revoked. Given that from so <laughs> You think? <laughs> is he gonna... <laughs> is he gonna reference... The incident? Is he gonna reference the incident that happened with him and, you know, Quantum? I think his name was? After has raised the bar with the Dark Souls trilogy DLC and Bloodborne, we expected Man's gonna this, be Shadows of the Earth Tree, to be even better somehow. The question is, does it live up to the hype and expectations? The answer is a little more complicated. However, the more things change, the more they stay the same. Been a lot of people saying it's way too hard. Like every major release in the Soulsborne series, some there's some the juicy sometimes. controversy to digest. Once again, the flame has been linked, the Age of Fire continues, and the debate around difficulty has been reignited. Some say Shadows of the Earth Tree is too difficult, challenging, the bosses are overtuned. It's bullshit. Oh, yeah, I'm glad that I watched the video now and not before now. He showed it now, and I'm very glad that I watched the video now and not Many before. Many others are content to rely on the age-old saying, Get good. You know, those two words are pretty motivating. Get Wife good. left you for another man, and you lost your job. Dog get died. Good. Get good. Get good. Stop crying. <laughs> Skill issue, bro. Skill Stop issue. Stop crying, bitch! Where, where, where? But who's right and who's wrong? Is it too challenging or not enough? To be honest, I've seen some pretty fair takes from both sides. I think there's okay. valid praise and criticism for Shadows of the Erd Tree, but there's also room okay, okay. for some hot takes. And today, yeah, we're gonna be yeah. looking at some of the spiciest hot takes for Shadow of the Erd Tree. Ones that oh, might I make you go really a little pretty. mad. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna take this off because it's really no! fucking hot in here. And maybe by the end of this video, I'll give you my own hot take. Disliked! Took off the chain mail, disliked! Hot take. And what better place to start with hot takes than from the man himself, Hidetaka Miyazaki. Miyazaki, who says, I'm still in the process of making my ideal fantasy RPG, while Elden Ring is not quite it. Wow. It's getting close. Wow. What is he smoking? It wasn't quite good enough. This in guy. I have the utmost respect for this man, man. The year, not enough for me. You guys realize this man will never stop cooking. Like, he refuses to leave the kitchen. What a Put the frying chat. pan down, Miyazaki. Just put it down already. <laughs> Seriously, bro made seven critically acclaimed masterpieces in a row, and he still that's has the balls not, to say, That's not enough. I that's got not one good more enough. in me. The thing is, for the Soul series, enough. which I consider Elden Ring to be part of, I don't know how much further sure. the bar can be raised. I think it's time their next project should hopefully be another sidestep Miyazaki, like Sekiro yeah. or Bloodborne. Something that's completely separate from the, you know, medieval dark fantasy style. And then I like the medieval dark fantasy style. To be fair, I do like it. Sekiro felt kind of like a bigger department, um, departure, sorry, a departure from the entire, not genre, but like style compared to like Bloodborne. Bloodborne still feels very, very dark saucy in my opinion. It can get more experimental. Still, I think it's very respectful to still be hungry when you're pretty much at the top. You know what I mean? Like, he's still hungry for more success. Since yeah. the discussion around difficulty in Shadow of the Erd Tree is so prevalent, I think we should also once again hear from the man himself. Miyazaki sure. on Elden Ring difficulty. I absolutely suck at video games. <laughs> this guy, by all accounts, should have a massive fucking ego, but he doesn't. And that's what I think is so respectful. He just comes out and says, yeah, I suck at the games I make. Or maybe he's saying that to wow. help people that do suck not feel Actual so shitty about Giga themselves. This next take is in Legend. Portuguese, so I don't know if it's a correct translation, but... And there are people who still think Elden Ring is better than Red Dead 2. Oh, yep. See, there it is. There it is. Look at the fire graphics. Look at that. Whoa. I mean, Elden Ring... Whoa, oh my god, the fire graphics. They don't, they don't compare, bro. The fire... The grass is burning. Oh, yep. oh my See, god. There it is. There it is. Look at the fire the graphics. Grass Look is at so, that. It's I mean, Elden Ring doesn't have that. You know, it's not like Rockstar actually went through incredible crunch and somewhat horrible working conditions to achieve this level of detail. 
But we should expect that in every other game too, even when it doesn't matter and it's completely unnecessary. Whoa. I'm pretty sure this is a shit post. I've never heard Elden Ring and Red Dead Redemption 2 brought up in the same sentence. Neither have I, to be fair. Like, are people seriously comparing these two games? But there's this trend on Twitter where people will do these like weird comparison videos between two games that like are absolutely nothing alike. You know, they'll be like, look at the detail in Last of Us 2. Just look at the facial gra okay. graphics. What about this? No, no, no. We're not talking about the story. Just the graphics. Also, the graphics are really pretty. <laughs> they are. <laughs> Last of Us 2 still is a garbage game. Look at Aloy's peach fuzz. Look at the peach. Oh my god. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so Fuzz realistic. rendering. Wow. Oh my god. It's so much better than Hellblade. The peach fuzz. Oh my. Bro. Bro. Oh my. Oh my god. It's, it's so much. Yeah, I know this Whoa. is probably troll and a bait, but I'm going to buy it anyways. It's not enough to. Like. Graphics to me are the cherry on top of the cake. It's not necessary to make a good game. But it does make it a tiny bit better if there are some. It does, it's like that extra coding, you know? That extra, that extra spice. It doesn't need it. It makes it good. If the cake looks shit, you won't eat it though. Exactly. A cherry on top of shit? <laughs> you so wouldn't hate that. <laughs> you have the skin around to face some fine hair to hit FPS for no good reason. Uh, yeah. One of my favorite games is Gothic 1, and aren't the graphics in that game like really, really fucking dated? I'm graphic snob, but that doesn't matter if I can from the game. True? True? Like their favorite game, they have to find ways to compare it to whatever is popular. Really funny how like, gamers. I'm a, like, Last of Us 2. Graphically beautiful, gameplay-wise, enjoyable. I did like the gameplay in The Last of Us 2, but the story, it ruined it all. The story ruined it all for me, man. It ruined it all. So bad. So fucking bad. Still haven't realized that realistic graphics are one of the biggest reasons the game industry sucks right now. This is a genuine point, though. Yay, your game has a realistic physics engine. In exchange, you will get one game per decade, and the game costs over half a billion dollars Yay! to develop. One flop and your studio is done for. It's fucking sad. It's a huge risk, game development. Speaking of dumb comparisons, Elden Ring. Mm -hmm. Create your own character. You can't even see it. <laughs> Make dynamic choices that change the entire story of your character. Open mm -hmm. world with 100 plus enemy types, 60 okay. plus bosses, on point landscape yeah. driven exploration, lots of interiors, yeah. and some of the best reward systems in the game. Uh, Reused sure. bosses aren't an issue since it has a ton of boss variety. Yes. World design is insane and lore is yes. good. Insane boss roster, amazing open world, exploration incredible, Metroidvania, lots of interiors is bad. Okay. pushing <laughs> okay, okay, Most chill. open world games are un- <laughs> No, wait. I, I was there with them until Amazing Open World, but... Where are we going amazing now? Amazing Open World, exploration, incredible, Metroidvania, lo like, <laughs> lots of interiors is boundary pushing. <laughs> Most open world games are unable to use interiors. Shows excellence in terms of world design, art direction, and content. Objectively, the best open world designs out there. So he's okay. glazing. He would probably lick Miyazaki's yeah. nutsack if he could. Why is this a hot take? Because compared to The Witcher 3, kill things, make choices that barely affect the story. A no! character either dies or loses relevance in the plot. Repeat for 50 hours. Uh, you left out fight monsters, bang hot chicks, get betrayed by them, kill them. <laughs> Choices that barely affect la, the story. La, 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 la. You forgot. La, 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 la. <laughs> you forgot that point too. Absolute fucking banger. A character dies. When's that la, la, ever been important la, 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 in storytelling? La, 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 if you really want to hop into the fire, just go on face. <laughs> Whenever that the la 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 plays, it reminds me of the transmog competitions from Esmond.
Facebook, you will find some crazy shit. So I usually laugh at complaining posts, but this time I need to make one. This game would honestly be better if we didn't have to heal. What? I what? want my full health bar. Let us divide our health and magic bars based on sacred tier level and do away huh? with the stupid flasks. Seriously, the only what? reason I can't beat some of these bosses is because I constantly have to stop fighting to heal. They're not going to get rid of a core mechanic that's like ah! healing. Yes, you should be able to heal in the Guys saying you should be able to heal? <laughs> you have to make that choice when you're fighting a boss. Do you get greedy or do you back off and try to heal or try to apply a buff? I think there are some bosses. The f we know which one. The fucking Godskin Apostle. That piece of shit even knows when you are he healing. That piece of fucking garbage. And then he throws that stupid ass black fire magic shit on you. <gasps> Tilting! There is a point to be made about how small the window of opportunity is in between attacks with certain bosses that like a lot of items and shit you can't really use there's a point to be made about that but to like you want the full health bar you just want that shit like stacked 14 times on your screen you know what it, yeah this is good this is an improvement <laughs> for sure i have to heal up to 14 times per fight that's ridiculous sorry for the quick there um let me let me play this again. This is good. This is an improvement for sure. I have to heal up to 14 times per fight. That's skill issue. It's ridiculous. Managing my stamina against relentlessly spammed attacks Get good. is already enough of a challenge without having to come to a dead stop and endure a painfully slow mm. animation of my tarnished drinking out of a stupid Ooh. flask. I want to meet this person and I want to watch them play Dark Souls 2 for the first time. And I'm just going to be staring. I, I haven't even touched Dark Souls 2, man. In their eyes, waiting to see their expression. Dark Souls 2 fans be like, Yeah, boys, who wants to get fucked up? Hey, Red Bull. Beat this boss first try with no summons, but it still doesn't count since I used Blasphemous Blade, apparently. Actually, you're right. That doesn't count. You can't nope. use the things nope. that I don't use. I'm just yeah. starting to think... <laughs> you're not allowed to use that. that. Elden Ring is an easy game, but we have to force a bunch of gameplay rules on ourselves to make it hard. That's yep. the ticket. Yeah, you, you, that's yep. basically Elden Ring. Yep. And you yep. can see yep. this in yep. the vast difference between Elden Ring and Sekiro. I think Sekiro is the hardest game From Software has made because you can't bullshit your way through it. You can't just leave this boss and go grind some runes or souls. You know what? To buff I'll your agree. In I haven't finished Sekiro, but like just like thinking about all the differences and all the those five entries, six if we consider um fucking demon swords the sekiro definitely probably the hardest sekiro, one. the progression is very harshly gated but in elden ring it's open it's free that's the benefit of the open world is that people have all these tools to fight the enemies with you could argue the problem is that there's too many tools it's a hard balance to comparing uh witcher 3 and souls game is schizophrenic they're completely different ga genres i agree <laughs> i agree you shouldn't compare those two games. Like where you're trying to make things that are fun, flashy, and cool, but also make them balanced. Like if you want to cheese your way through Elden Ring, you can. You can. And if From Software didn't want you to do that, then they wouldn't have put these tools in the game in the first place. That being True. said, I think there are legitimate criticisms about like how bosses are designed, how levels are designed, the arenas you fight enemies in, and whether or not that's interesting in providing a unique challenge. It's not so much like, I just want to fight a really, really hard boss with a tough move set. It's also, how do you get to that boss? Do you have to traverse yeah. down some fucking poison infested village to get to a hot spider witch? And hey is that I'm gonna say, the level design in all these games are beautiful. All the fucking shortcuts, all the uh, levels going up, down, left, right, hidden puff secrets. Go back, shut the fuck up, chat. Challenge no, satisfying when you overcome it. Like, enough. that's kind of the ticket with difficulty in these games. It's never really been about the difficulty. That's always been an expression of the harsh Let world. To immerse players into the game further. Papa For me YouTube personally, like I enjoy the challenge of, of learning a boss's moveset and all the proper timings. Because when you hit that, like, six dodge combo and you can get through it, you, you kind of feel like a god. It's, it's the do, same thing yeah. with parrying, yep, timing yep, attacks. Yep, it all comes yep, down to... Yep. Also, I always felt like... I always felt like bosses 
are designed very, very fairly. They're just... very hard! But they are fair! They are fair! If you learn shit, they are fair! People are doing fucking no hit runs in those games, man. Timing. The Winged Scythe, based weapon, based weapon, love that weapon. Yeah, that, that, that is what it felt like. Sit down, fuck you! I remember, I remember, I remember beating her. Fuck this bitch, man. No pause button in a single player game is just- Oh my god, I remember this. I remember this. I remember this. Straight up bad design. I don't care. I'm- Gonna say- No pause button in a single player game is just straight up bad design. I don't- Hate me if you want, but implementing a pause button into Souls like shouldn't be that big of a deal. I'm- I'm gonna say it. It shouldn't that- be that big of a deal to implement a pause button. Why does it not have a pause button? Now, if you want to argue, it's because there's the online mechanic. You can play the game offline. I played the game mostly offline. I don't do the online fucking side on things. On the coding side, it's not. What? It, it's not hard? Oh, it, it is hard. Like, let people take a piss? Yeah, literally. It shouldn't be that hard to implement pausing. So why is it not there? I don't know. I don't know why FromSoft didn't add pausing. I don't know. Unless you decide to freeze the execution, it is a pain to implement a pause. Mm. It is kind of annoying if you need to do something during the game. Yeah, I mean, if you have an emergency, it's better to have a pause button. Agreed, agreed. Now, the way she portrayed this was a bit stupid. Good message. Bad portraying of the message. Care. Well, it's not a single player game, but I get what you're saying. It can be. These games have never had a pause feature, and I don't think they ever will. The reason, I think, is because of immersion. Once again, when you cross that fog door, you gotta lock that shit in. You gotta lock in, and it's just you and the boss in your world. You can't worry about what your fucking kids are doing. If you got kids... You may need to pause to stop your kid from putting a fork into a... Yeah, was... That one... Honestly, that, that one's a skill issue. I'm gonna I'm say it. The way she portrayed it, skill issue. The way she fucking portrayed it, fucking skill issue. Good point, horrible presentation of set point. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a socket. Little Jimmy's gonna stick a fork in the outlet. Let him, let him fry, <laughs> let okay? <him>. Survival <laughs> of the selection. Kid, that dumb's not gonna be smart enough to beat Elden Ring, so what's the point in raising him? But I think- <laughs> True! Being able to pause, like, mid-fight would- Guy is the one who was defeated by the power of Bolsonaro, true. Take a lot of wind out of the game's sails. It would take away from the intensity of a boss and your immersion within the game. He does have a point. He does have a point. But... I still don't think it would be that big of a deal. I still don't think it would be that big of a deal to implement a pause button. There is a point to immersion. Dead again. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't, I don't think it would ruin it too much. I don't think it would ruin too much. Like if somebody much. calls me when I'm fighting a boss in Elden Ring, this is pretty much what I say. Fuck! Dude! I'm busy! Call back later! But it's like, it's okay to advocate for more accessibility. You pose at a legendary fight during God of War that would ruin your immersion? I guess it would. I guess it would. That is true. I'm saying it's a fair point. It is a fair point. I just respectfully disagree that these games should have a pause feature. I think it's funny that Kai Sanat, like- Like I said, I didn't see the reason for it, but now I do see a reason. Now I was educated, now I do see a reason. 
the biggest streamer on Twitch, has been playing from software games for like, what, two months? And he understands these games better than some longtime FromSoft fans. It's a skill issue. <laughs> there it is. There it is. It's a skill issue. Let's continue with the video. I'm asking your ass, but your ass though. Cause your you ass. really like say this too hard. Nigga, put your big boy pants on, go out there and go fight. Like what are Literally. you talking about? If you went through all that hassle two years ago, why the fuck would they make a DLC for you to breeze past and be done with in a day or two? Guys, drill. we're complaining about difficulty drill. and challenge. You know Based. the drill. We don't fuck around here. I mean, okay, we bitch, we moan, we break our controllers, we give up, I don't. we call it quits, and then we boot up the game the next day, okay? Until that fucking boss is dead on the ground so forever. Go to the Booyah! Woo! It would be disappointing if Shadow of the Earth Tree didn't ramp up the difficulty. If we True. all just breezed through Fuck it, this boss, that would by the be way. pretty shitty. Fuck this boss. And I think Fuck that's the reason so why FromSoft forced players to beat Moog to gain access to the DLC. Because if you can beat Moog, you can beat every other boss in the game. Yeah, I you think. should be. Moog's pretty fucking hard. Moog is such a joke. Like at the point where you get to Moog. Yeah, sure. But Moog. He's such a pushover. Moke is such a fucking pushover, man. Hard. So at this point, when you enter the DLC, you're supposed to basically have all tools at your disposal. That's the grounds that you should be confronting. That's this that one do I do agree with. Like at the point where you get to Moke, you yeah, yes. But Moke himself, pushover. Challenge on. But I need some spicier takes, and I think I have just the answer. Now th didn't have Theolia to help you with the Puget Night tour. I don't know who that is. Is that an NPC quest? If so, no. This video is from a very small creator, so I'm not sure if I want to show his channel name or the title of the video, because I don't want to inadvertently send a bunch of hate his way. But I feel like he's so entertaining, I have to talk about him. So I've been thinking a little- Oh, I thought he was going to talk about Quantum again, <laughs> like bring back Quantum. A little bit about Elden but... Ring lately. Kind of how What's quickly this? it's fallen off, how it's irrelevant, how the DLC hasn't salvaged the game. <laughs> He just Salvaged? hit me with eight stuns in eight- Wait, 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 come again? I'm not sure if I want to show his channel name or the title of the video, because I don't want to inadvertently send a bunch of hate his way. Wasn't there a guy that tried to sue from so for it being too hard to get uh, to the DLC? I don't know about if it was too hard to get to the DLC, but it was too hard overall, and apparently there was hidden content there somewhere bec uh, that wouldn't be accessible because it's too hard. But I feel like he's so entertaining, I have to talk about him. So I've been thinking a little bit about Elden Ring lately. Kind of how yes. quickly it's fallen off, how it's it fell off. irrelevant, how the irrelevant. DLC has Wait, 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 I can do this better. I can do this better. Sorry, chat. I, 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 I can do this so much better. I can add entertainment value to this. Give me a moment. A little bit about Elden Ring lately. Kind of how quickly it's fallen off, how it's irrelevant, how the DLC has A little bit about Elden Ring lately. Kind of how quickly it's fallen off, how it's irrelevant, how the DLC hasn't salvaged the game. <laughs> he just hit me with eight stuns in eight seconds. I fucked what, this up. What did he say? Kind of how quickly it's fallen off, how it's irrelevant, how the DLC hasn't salvaged the game. How quickly it's fallen off, how irrelevant it is. This has to be masterful trolling because right out the gate, I'm already angry. <laughs> there have been really interesting lines of thought that have come from thinking about this game and the attempts at making this a cultural phenomenon. Why does this attempts? guy feel like he's like Phil Spencer's son or something? Yo, thank you for the game of subs purchase. Am I crazy? I feel like he, he talks kind of like him. There's been a lot of um, damage control in regards to the difficulty, right? People are trying to gaslight those who criticize the DLC as simply having been filtered by the difficulty. Like nobody is complaining about the difficulty in He has to be trolling. He has to be trolling, right? And I, I, I don't know. I can, I, I didn't see exactly what they got. I can, I can check though if you guys want me to check what they got. 
people are trying to gaslight those who criticize the DLC as simply having been filtered by the difficulty. Like, the nobody is hey. complaining about the difficulty in Shadows of the Earth no, no in one. my experience. The game is easy. It's simple. It's a breeze to get through. It's <laughs> He's fucking trolling. He's trolling me. There's He's the ultimate gamer. Chet, he's the ultimate gamer, I think. There's no way. If you take what he says at face value, it makes me mad. It makes me want to convert to the Church of the Frenzied Flame. Seeing like the <laughs> response to my uh, my criticisms of like the DLC and the, the base game and From Slop as a whole, I kind of get- From Slop? From Slop. Sorry, from slop. I mispronounced that, but from slop. In, uh, the base game and from slop as a whole, I kind of get from slop. <laughs> from slop is an amazing name, bro. From slop. If from slop was actually fucking sucking ass, from slop would be actually so good. From slop. <laughs> I've That's actually so about good how though. Other video game uh, titles are far more hardcore and intense than anything from slop has ever done you know from i've talked slop! about super monkey ball monster hunter stuff like that more intense and he brings up super monkey ball nice but trolling. is he wrong bro how this guy <laughs> can say all this stuff with a straight face like i actually I respect it <laughs> something that i think really Pete needs Gamer. to be addressed that that, that needs yeah. to be brought up is that elden ring is yeah. absolutely yeah. easier than the dark souls games Oh, he, bro, he knows. It is. It is. Shit because he knows <laughs> everything is. he's saying is going to be like super it inflammatory. It's going to spark. It is. <laughs> Elden Ring is easier than the Dark Souls games. Wild debates. Like if I said that, there would be hundreds of comments being like, you're wrong, Actman. Like this guy. This guy knows his craft. Uh, it, like, it's uncut. <laughs> There's no editing. He only calls from software from Slop. You can skip salts, you can't. There's probably some skippable things in Dark Souls as well, but yeah, in Elden Ring, a lot of shit is optional. A lot of shit is optional. And I mean, that's a beauty in it. Like, I'm not saying Elden Ring is an easy game by all means. It is a hard game, in my opinion, anyway. But it is. Elden Ring is easier than Dark Souls games. You can uh, skip some bosses in DS, yeah, if I remember correctly, right? Everyone loves patches, apparently. Oh yeah, I love patches. Fuck that asshole, but I love I love hating him. You know, I love hating him. Uh, it, like it's uncut. <laughs> There's no editing. He only calls from software from slop. This is a good troll. Like the game has been casualized. Uh, the fact that this is only just da dawning on me now, really- They added in a lot of- uh, They added in a lot of, a lot of, a lot of tools to make Elden Ring easier compared to the Dark Souls rings, the uh, Dark Soul games, God. Depends on who is doing the patches. Oh, to talk about that, I, I, what? I thought you were talking about the character patches. The fuck? Just goes to show you just how little respect from slot fans have for the older Dark Souls games, right? They don't talk about what? them, they don't play about, about them at all. What? Kids who can't English right now, yeah. Oh, they don't care. They don't play, they. You were talking about the character? Okay, then I was right. Let's go. I was right. They don't talk about, they don't care about the old Dark Souls games. Like, I know it's a troll, but I, st I still want to. Debate him on that. There isn't feel really that. much of a push to debate as to whether or not Elden Ring is uh, better than Dark Souls. Okay, better is a completely fucking different topic. Easier? Yeah, better? Mm. Right. Aside from PlayStation fanboys who will advocate for oh Bloodborne God. being better, there. Uh, Bloodborne is good. <laughs> Bloodborne. Bro. Bro, everyone agrees Bloodborne is peak. There is no real discourse on whether or not, like, uh... Speaking of, I, I, I am YouTubes, I am currently playing Bloodborne. If you do want to catch me playing Bloodborne, you gotta, you gotta come join.
the life or look at the vod channel a uh, from slop has is been the bust you fought yesterday yes falling off or not saying there's like on his tentacles hold up 10 out of 10 games just two years after they won game of the year and then releasing shadows of the earth tree curse you bow exception it's gotten it's just it's just crazy it's wild to say that that they've fallen off at the height of their power and i find that really really interesting that <laughs> everything off. from slop does bro fell off Fr from slop easy game appealing to casuals <laughs> l plus ratio <laughs> is seen by the community as simply being better and more difficult like we saw that with the dlc right where Everybody is trying to say that Shadow yeah, of the Earth is, rich is far harder. What the fuck is this boss? Community as simply being everything from Slop does is seen by the community as simply being better and more difficult. Like we saw that with the DLC, right? Where everybody is trying to say that Shadow of the Earth Tree is far harder. Then the base game. Yeah, I can read the name. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. It's my dear world. Thank you. Of Elden Ring. But is it harder? I than have Dark not come Souls? across this is boss. Is it harder than Demon Souls? Those are. I have not played Demon Souls. I have played Dark Souls three. Um. Now there's a lot to unpack. Overall Elden Ring is e Overall Elden Ring definitely is easier than the Dark Souls games, in my opinion anyway, because it gives you way more tools to deal with the shit that you can deal with. She hasn't even fought among the spine destroyer. How do you get to them? actually interesting questions because depending on how and when you played those games like i started with dark souls one then demon souls two three and then i played them in order and playing them in that order like each one was challenging in a completely different way that it's really hard to describe which one was harder wow a shit post that makes you think that's wow that's crazy <laughs> you know it's not as hard as monkey ball i can tell you that with a fucking monkey ball. But, like, when you really sit there and really think about, when you really start to think about, like, wow, nobody I know is playing the DLC. Or... Yes, to be rage baiting. I'd say they made it more accessible while also raising the top skill ceiling with the end game bosses. Yeah, sure. Sure. Cares about it at all. You know, like, when you really start to, like, look at, like, oh, five billion units sold, that's great, except, you know, that's probably the absolute peak it's gonna get, right? You know, it fell off. Great, except, you know, that's probably the absolute peak it's gonna get, right? You know, it fell off very quickly after that. <laughs> yeah, it fell off after 5 million sales. It, it, it's not gonna get more than that. No one's ever gonna buy the game anymore. It's not, they, no one's buying this. I just, wow, they said, oh, this has been a real treat. It. Like, there's not gonna be, there wasn't some major resurgence of interest, interest in Elden Ring and... You see what I'm saying? He's so good at... I'm Absolute peak. Meanwhile, Black Myth Wukong came out. Uh, he's talking about FromSoft specifically, though. I'm just going to be reiterating myself if we continue watching this. I'm just going to say, wow, that makes me angry. Great troll. Hey, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep up the great content. I love it. I, I've made this comparison before, but it feels like Elden Ring is in the same boat Skyrim was a decade ago, huh? right? When that game came out and everybody swore up and down, it's the greatest game ever. And yet like, you know, actual Elden Ring fans, uh, pfft, actual uh, Elder Scrolls fan, excuse me. Oh, okay. You can't even keep these games similar. There, there, there's- to be right. Chad, what? What? If that's actually his opinion. So did, there's so- Honestly, his looks check out. I would believe him if he said he was true, like real. So generic. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. They're, 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 they're so they're so generic. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, got me again. Elder Scrolls fans came out and said like, no, like Skyrim is disappointing, right? It's shallow. It's basic. It's uninspired. The Thomas the Tank 
attention. Morrowind was better. The debate around. Have people actually been saying that Morrowind is better than um 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 um, um Skyrim? Is that? I I I I I wasn't a big in the in the Elder Scrolls fandom. I don't know. I don't know. I I I don't know. I have I have zero opinions. I have zero knowledge. Morrowind is still being modded, so it's still popular. I see. I see. I see. Some have. Uh huh. Okay. Found okay. like which Souls game or Elder Scrolls game is the best in its series is much different than Oblivion? like oh. are these still go objectively good fun games? And the answer is yes. Yeah. All of the Souls games are fantastic. Yeah. It just comes they down are. to personal preference which one you prefer the most. You know, sure. The Elder yes. Scrolls has been falling off for a long time. Now he's talking shit about Elder Scrolls. Well, I mean, so he's actually not not wrong. I mean, Elder Scrolls <laughs> Online, you know, that's the new game. Elder Scrolls Six. Yeah, six years since the trailer, boys. Six it's common. Six soon. years. It, it's soon. shocking to me, you know, as a as a real hardcore gamer, how often. <laughs> as a real hardcore gamer, <laughs> with his monkey ball like, game. A lot of the people who advocate for Elden Ring don't really seem to know all that much about video games in general, right? The way the way he slinks in those subtle insults to people who really, really love these games is just, it's just chef's, chef's kiss. kiss. And these yeah. are like the stereotypical, like modern gamers, the kind of people who will seriously tell you that Elden Ring is hardcore, right? That is the Elden Ring audience. You know, people who don't even know what's out there. This is the reality, right? They, they are like the Marvel, consuming like mainstream lowest count can, can, uh common denominator snot slop right they are the the people who show up the adam sandler movies <laughs> no he's going for adam sandler he's comparing <laughs> from soft fans to adam <laughs> and sandler movies as the lowest common denominator God, you have to finish this video. But now, like, you're you're really seeing them like get more aggressive about it. You know, like aggressively try to pretend that, like, no, From Slop is the hardest game series ever. Oh, it's way better than Zelda. Oh, like, and they'll go to great lengths to try to discredit them and dismiss all their arguments, right? Because to them, not enjoying Elden Ring is sacrilegious and uh, is and uh, it should be condemned. You know what? I'll give him one point. There are a lot of hardcore glazers that do go really hardcore in and that really do say you're only allowed to play the game in one certain way. But those are not the people he's talking about. <laughs> those are not actually the people he's talking about. He's talking about everyone who is enjoying the fucking game. He's not wrong. I'm like, I'm genuinely surprised this video that I think is a 100% troll actually got me to, you know, think a bit more critically about games. And I was actually like agreeing with a couple of things he said. <laughs> Overall, great troll. Love what you're doing, man. And you don't listen to those people anyway. Keep it up. Fantastic video. Made me super <laughs> 10 angry. Out of 10. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, what all did we learn today? Well, we learned that Red Dead Redemption 2 is better than Shadows of the Earth yeah. 3 because of grass yeah. physics. In yeah. Witcher 3, your decisions don't really matter. And most yeah. importantly, from software, has officially fallen off. I <laughs> Fell off! <laughs> Sloppy game! Doesn't even have fire physics! I always loved the discussion around new From Software <laughs> games, and it was actually kind of hard to find more legitimate hot takes for this video, but takes I thought were interesting <laughs> nonetheless. But what do you think? Leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to The Act Man for more awesome content. All right, everyone, that's all I got for today. This is the... Wait a minute. I promised you my hot take too. And it just might be the hottest take of them all. Oh, I was disappointed oh. with Shadows of the Erd Tree. No. Video coming soon. Peace. Is that video out yet? Is that video out yet? Maybe I shouldn't watch it. Maybe I'm, oh, there's still some spoilers I'm missing. Either way, I, I, yeah, I love the From Slop guy too. Holy shit. That, uh, holy, holy. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, man. Elden Ring is a gift between...